Hello, my name is Adrian Stevens, and today I'm going to talk to you about adding a Mac OS project to an existing Xamarin Forms application. Now, when we talk about Xamarin Forms, we tend to focus on three platforms. So often we talk about iOS and Android, and of course, Windows UWP. But we've got some other platforms coming uh, already. Uh, Samsung has added support for their mobile operating system, Tizen. And we've got a few others in the pipeline. Uh, Mac OS support is coming very soon. Uh, Linux support is coming in the form of binding to the GDK libraries. And we've also heard that Windows WPF support is coming. So we've got a lot of platforms. This means that we're not just talking about mobile anymore, but really uh, desktop and full-blown OSs as well. And of course, today we're going to focus on Mac OS. So let's switch over to Visual Studio and see the steps that we need to perform to add Mac OS support to an existing Xamarin Form solution. Now I've opened up a Xamarin Form solution, and this should look pretty familiar. Uh, it's a very similar structure that you've seen for other applications. We've got an Android head project, an iOS head project, and a UWP head project. And then we've got a radio. This is our shared code. Now in this application, this is a portable class library, but it could also be a shared project or, or a .NET standard library. And here, this is where our shared UI definition, our Xamarin Forms UI definition, and our shared business logic goes. And you can see there's quite a bit of code. We've got, got some, some business logic, some game logic, and um, some data, and of course, a bunch of code for our views. And this application is actually a, a study tool for a technical radio exam. You know, actually, let me show this to you. Let's start this up on iOS. And we see our UI, we've got a number of buttons. And let's do a, a practice exam. And we see here, Got some gradient effects. And we can go to the end here and see how we did. Looks like I guess one question right. And so multi-page application, some lists, some buttons, some effects. So you know, a standard application in a lot of ways. So let's add Mac OS support. So the first thing we need to do is add that Mac OS project. So I'm gonna add a new project by right-clicking on the solution node. And then I'm gonna go down to Mac, we see Mac app, and under general, I want to select Cocoa App. Let's give it a name and call it radio.macOS. Now you see a preview here of, of our app installed on a Mac, and I'm going to change the dock item title here. Let's call this radio. A uh, little bit tidier than .macOS. Going to go to next. Product name and location. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to add another subfolder called radio, and that's because this is being added at the same level as my solution file. And I happen to have all of my head projects in another subfolder called radio. And this is pretty common. And I believe the default Xamarin templates do this. So you might want to add that extra subfolder just to keep things consistent. And I'll just show this to you. Here's my solution. I've got a radio folder and then my head project. So I want this to appear here. Hence my extra folder. And let's hit create. And there it is, Mac OS, excellent. So great, we've got some plumbing to do here. And the first thing we want to do, let's add, let's add in Xamarin Form support. Let's add in our NuGet package. So I'm going to right click, add NuGet package. And we see Xamarin Forms is up, but if it wasn't there, I could just search for Xamarin Forms. Now I'm adding version 2.4.0. This is the latest stable at the time of this recording. And uh, Mac OS support is in the stable version of, the, of Xamarin Forms. Let's get the right package. Uh, but it is still at this time considered preview. Uh, so it's very full featured. I've had really great luck with it. I'm really enjoying using it, but it is a preview release. So, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be finalized soon, but just keep that in mind. You might not want to release an application using it, uh, or at the very least, make sure you're testing very, very carefully. Uh, again, use your best judgment, uh, but again, it is still considered preview. So let's add that package and it installs. Now, one thing I want to mention is we always want to keep that Xamarin Forms NuGet package in sync. And it's especially important in our shared code for running our Mac OS project. And I'm just going to show you that I've already updated these because of course I've updated the latest stable. There it is, 2.4.0. And I've also updated the other head projects. Of course, as soon as I update my shared code, we need to update those as well. So everything's on 2.4. Now, of course, we also need a way to reach our shared UI definition. So I'm going to add a reference to that shared project. So let's right click on references, edit reference, and select radio. Again, we need to be able to reach our shared code and our shared UI. Now we created a default Mac OS application. It has a little bit of boilerplate UI provided for us. And we can get rid of that because of course it's going to come from our Xamarin Forms UI. 
uh, from that definition. So we'll open up info plist. I'm going to hit the source tab and I'm going to delete this ns main storyboard file entry. And with that, I can now delete the main storyboard that comes with it. We don't need that either. Let's just delete that. Now the next thing we need to do is wire up that UI. And we'll have the application delegate do that. Uh, now if we open up our main CS, you'll notice that we're not connected to our app delegate. So we'll do that and we'll make sure we're instantiating. Uh, we're making an instance of the app delegate. So I'm going to NS application. And this should be on shared application. And then there's a delegate property here. I'm just going to new app delegate. Perfect. And so now we're instantiating that when our application starts. Now, if we go to our app delegate, we'll notice there's not a whole lot going on. That's, of course, because we're using that storyboard file initially to kick up our, our UI. So we're going to have to fill out, uh, do a little bit of work here. I like to start by adding in the using statement. So I'm going to add in Xamarin Forms. Of course, we have that because we added our NuGet package. And I'm going to add Xamarin Forms Platform Mac OS. And that's, I love seeing that. It's our Mac OS support. Now, if you've looked under the hood in your iOS project, you'll notice that we're not using NS application delegate, we've got a special variant of that. The same is true on Mac OS. And we're actually use the forms application delegate. And this has just a little bit of extra, it's a derived class, and it has a little bit of extra plumbing, and I believe that's to wire up the lifecycle events that we can access in our shared code. You know, let's go to a little red squiggly. There's a we have another requirement for using the forms application delegate, so we'll take care of that. Next, I want to create an NS window, and this is going to be responsible for displaying our UI. Let's call that window. Now, let's take care of that, uh, that complaint here. And we're missing an override. So I'm going to go override main window, and we just simply return that window. Notice I type NS window here. We'll go return window. Excellent. So now our class is happy, but we still have a bit of work to do. There's nothing displaying UI. So let's get our window set up. And we need a couple of things. We're going to create a, a style for it. And this comes from NS window style. And we'll do a couple of things. Make it closable, NS window style. Let's make it, uh, we'll also do, we need to do resizable. Again, you can control this. I haven't tried all the variants. So I'm not sure if everything is supported, but it should be. It's a Mac, Mac application. And we'll go titled. We also need a rectangle. And this is going to define where a window is shown initially. Now it is resizable, so it is movable by the user, but we need a default size and position. This is going to come from Core Graphics. This is just a CG rect. Again, should be familiar if you're an iOS developer. Um, I like to put this, and we're going to, of course, instantiate that. Get that our new. I like to put it in the upper left corner, do 100 by 100, and do 1024 by 768. I know there's a lot of high resolution Macs out there. This is a nice, nice safe size for us. Again, you're welcome to change this to anything that makes sense to you. And now let's create our window. So we'll just, our window, our property from above, our field from above, new NS window. And we've got an override here that's going to take our rect and our style, put those in. Uh, we can set the backing store. Now it's a buffered, uh, that is the recommended setting by the Xamarin Forms team. And then we have a defer creation. I'm going to put false. We, of course, want this created right away. We want to display our UI when our application launches. And we can do a couple other things to our window. Set a title, equals radio, and I'm keeping control of things like the, the visibility. Let's see, it is, uh, should be title visibility. And we'll say, we'll leave do hidden here and following the recommended settings by the forms team. And now we've created our window, and of course, it's reached by this main window property. But we still haven't done is wire up the form side. So what do we do in every head project? Well, the template does this for us, but in every head project, we always initialize Xamarin Forms. And now we need to connect the Xamarin Forms UI definition, really load it, and have it inflate create a, a Mac OS UI. So we call load application. Again, this comes from our forms NuGet package. And I have an app class in my shared code. You can see it here. And it's just the app class as we expect. So let's instantiate that over in our app delegate. Let's go new app. 
And then the last thing to do is call the base implementation of did finish launching. And again, this is a requirement uh, of our custom implementation of formed application delegate. If you forget this, you won't see your UI. And we'll just pass in that notification. Okay, and that should do it. I think we've taken all the steps we need to launch our application. Set this as our startup project and let's launch our Mac OS application. Now I've hit a bit of a funny error here. So it's application name radio, it conflicts with another, another user assembly. So it's something else on the Mac. Uh, I don't know what that is, but we can fix this very easily. We'll go to options and under output, here's our assembly name. I'll just call this, you know, uh, XF radio, anything other than radio. And you'll see this if you'd say, try and do a calculator app, for example, you might be conflicting with one of those default applications on your Mac. And there we go, we've got our Mac application. Of course, this window is resizable. And notice there's our Xamarin Forms UI. And although there's some steps here, we've put, got a lot of functionality into our Mac application pretty quickly. I'm gonna hit my practice radio exam. And we see our buttons, there's our UI. We can get a back button for navigation. We can click through and off we go. So pretty fantastic. With not much work, we've added a Mac OS app. So yeah, go ahead, add in Mac support to your Xamarin.Forms application. Uh, really exciting to see all these new platforms coming to Xamarin.Forms.